On this episode of Function Beast, I install a clutch on the 350Z. We're kicking clutches! Huh! in a 350Z is not the actual clutch uh, swapping itself, uh, especially because this isn't a twin disc or anything crazy like that. Uh, the really difficult part is taking the giant transmission in and out. And luckily enough, we didn't torture any of you with that footage because you just see way too much plumber crack. And uh, it took nine hours. After you wrestle the transmission out, remove the pressure plate bolts. Then pry off the pressure plate and clutch. Be absolutely amazed at how flimsy the flywheel is. Now use a breaker bar with a T55 Torx bit to remove the flywheel bolts. And wiggle the flywheel back and forth till it comes off the crank. Oh, there it goes. <sighs> now clean the back of your filthy motor. Okay, this thing deserves a better cleaning than I've given it, but I ain't got time for this sh Use a blind puller tool to remove the pilot bushing. Use a soft hammer to start the new pilot bushing. And then a similar sized socket to seat it fully. Position the flywheel and apply red Loctite to the bolts. Then wipe the flywheel down with brake clean. Do it multiple times if you have to. And torque the bolts to spec. Pack the pilot bushing with grease. Position the clutch with the clutch alignment tool. Place the pressure plate over the clutch onto the alignment dowels on the flywheel. Apply Loctite to the pressure plate bolts before installing them. Torque the pressure plate bolts to spec. Use up too many cans of brake clean rinsing out your filthy bell housing. Remove the old release bearing. Thoroughly grease the input shaft and splines. Now install the new release bearing and you're ready to reinstall the transmission. Everyone always says, they're like, oh, 350Z transmissions are really strong. It's robust. Like, there's a lot of it to be had. If, uh, it, it's, it's pretty comparable to like a T56 or something like that, size and weight wise. It took 16 so, years to bleed the trans or bleed the clutch. So we didn't bore you with that either. That, that's a whole, so a little bit of advice. Uh, if you do change the clutch, uh, on the car, don't change the clutch line. Uh, once you get air in that clutch line, it does not work. It never comes out. <laughs> it never comes out. It's a, uh, it needs to be like pressure bled. So if you're just trying to pour a little in the top and then, you know, have a friend press the pedal, it will never work. Uh, we learned that Literally 48 hours in a row trying. Yeah, it, it, it will not work um, <laughs> under any circumstance. 
I ended up putting in a Willwood master cylinder for an LS swap in 350Zs to make it work. And now it is like one of the hardest leg workouts you'll ever get because the master cylinder and the slave cylinder are not matched. But Never skip like that. Oh, this is gonna require heavy editing. Yeah. <laughs> I actually probably should turn.